And Trump is using the pick to help fire up his base, and he is fully intending on having his nominee confirmed before the election. President Trump holding multiple campaign events today, capping off the night with this rally in Virginia, where, as usual, there were many people not wearing masks and not distancing. President Trump riled up the crowd with news of his choice for the Supreme Court. Tomorrow, I will be announcing my nominee to the United States Supreme Court. You know, we have a lot of time left. Think, think of this. If it were them, don't forget, we don't have to do it by the election, but we should be easy, really able. That would be a great thing. CBS News has learned the president is expected to nominate federal appeals judge Amy Coney Barrett to replace Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The 48-year-old mother of seven was an early frontrunner, especially after the president considered her to replace Justice Anthony Kennedy in 2018. Barrett clerked for conservative icon Justice Antonin Scalia. It was intimidating working for him. You know, when he called you in his office, you had to be prepared to just go to the mat and talk about whatever it was. And he was always five steps ahead of you. Barrett became a favorite among religious groups for her anti-abortion views. She went on to become a law professor at Notre Dame, her alma mater. Before I was a judge, I was a law professor. At Notre Dame in 2012, she signed on to a public letter protesting that abortion and contraception coverage, part of the Affordable Care Act, were an assault on religious liberty. You are controversial. Hey, let's start with that. Senators called into question whether Barrett would impose her religious beliefs while making judicial decisions during her confirmation hearings in 2017 for the Seventh Circuit Appeals Court. When you read your speeches, um, the conclusion one draws is that the dogma lives loudly within you. Barrett said her religious views would not influence her rulings. If you're asking whether I take my faith seriously and I'm a faithful Catholic, I am, although I would stress that my personal church affiliation or my religious belief would not bear on the discharge of my duties as a judge. It's never appropriate for a judge to impose that judge's personal convictions, whether they derive from faith or anywhere else on the law. Barrett is a mother of seven, including two adopted children from Haiti and a son who she learned had Down syndrome when she was pregnant with him. Benjamin has special needs and that presents unique challenges for all of us. Barrett's story has made her a star among anti-abortion rights conservatives. Democrats can do little or nothing to stop the confirmation process except to continue their public relations offensive. We should not be racing forward with this nomination. Several recent polls show a majority of Americans support letting the winner of the election pick the next Supreme Court justice, but that is not likely to sway the president. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waits.